Upswing Nation, what is going on? It's Austin here with the Upswing Report, and thank you so much for checking out this video. It's all about how to find a mentor. If you're watching this video, you probably understand how valuable a mentor can be. You can learn how they already invented their wheel so you don't have to go out there and do it yourself, and it can save you so much time and cut your learning curve way down. All right, stay tuned, because I'm gonna show you how to find the best mentor and how to keep them. All right, this is the first and best piece of advice that I'm gonna give you. A lot of people say, how do I go about asking for someone to mentor me? That's not what you do. You never say, hey, can you mentor me? It's a very weird question to ask and it's not natural at all. Instead, what you're gonna do is just simply say, hey, I'd love to pick your brain or hey, I would love to ask you for advice in this specific area. I know that you're successful in that area and that will do two things. First, asking for advice is not something that's even a sale. You're not selling anything. It's a simple way to just get in contact with that person and ask them for something. The second thing is the fact that you're asking them, hey, I'd like to ask you because you're successful, that makes their ego kind of prick up because, hey, look, everyone likes to hear good words about whatever they've accomplished. But again, if you were to say, hey, can you be my mentor? That's a huge commitment potentially in their head. And they're like, I don't even know what that even means. Is that going to be like a, a weekly thing? So I would never say, hey, can you be a mentor? That's the first thing. The second thing that I would say is, yes, it's important to find people that are more so at the top of your field. So let's say you want to go into business, maybe accounting, find someone in your, your network that you know as a good CPA, maybe they own their own practice or whatever that might be that you want to go for, find that person. But that being said, you do not have to find people in your specific field. Because here's the deal, success, leaves clues and success has patterns. Maybe someone's an athlete, they're an expert athlete in their area. Well, the things that they've learned through going through that whole trial process and learning to get better, failing and getting up and pushing forward, that's the same thing that the entrepreneur has to go through. Or the same thing that you have to go to if you wanna to go to med school or go into some specific type of medicine. Really whatever field that you wanna be the best at, you can learn so much from people in those different areas. That being said, if you can find someone in your specific area, that's just kind of a cherry on top. But just trying to find people that are successful in general is never a bad thing to do. The third tip I have for you is you can be mentored by dead people. And what I mean by that is books. There are a ton of great books out there. And one thing that I recommend in terms of if you wanna get mentored by someone who's passed away or who's someone who's famous is to go after biographies. The reason why I recommend biographies is because it gives you a big picture view. It gives you a storyline of where they were and to where they're gonna be. And that allows you to kind of use your imagination and you can take a piece from this guy. For example, I read Sam Walton's uh, Made in America. I've also read Rockefeller's biography. I've read Elon Musk's. And I'm taking pieces from all these guys and putting them into my own head and spinning them and saying, okay, well, I see this guy does this and this this guy does this. Pablo Picasso said, good artists borrow, great ones steal. So go out there, find people that you want, dead or alive, and take from them and, and borrow. And again, they don't even have to be books too. You can go on the internet, go to YouTube, find somebody who is legit on social media right now. I have people that I follow, like Grant Cardone, Gary Vaynerchuk, I follow them and I learn from them as I'm going through and watching YouTube videos or looking at them on Instagram. So I'm always growing, always learning. The fourth thing is update them. So if you have a mentor where you've asked them to, hey, can I ask your advice? And you started cultivating that relationship, maybe it's just a coffee initially, but say, hey, a month later, you gave me this piece of advice, well, I implemented it. Because here's the thing, most people, not you guys, because you're part of Upswing Nation, but most people won't ever implement whatever pieces of information someone's given them. So if you could come back to the mentor and say, I'd love to update you on how my progress has been, and you tell them, him or her, look, I, I use this thing that you recommended to me and it helped me so much. That will start to build the relationship for them to feel like, wow, this guy's actually implementing what I've been telling him to do. And so I really appreciate that. And they feel like they're not wasting their time by giving you advice and mentorship. So there you have it. There are my tips on how to find and keep a mentor. Hopefully you found it informative. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you haven't already, because I'm releasing videos four to five times a week right now. And so I'd love for you to join on this journey. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.